Namaste my students today in this video we are going to continue chapter 7 more on internet In the previous video we have learned the four basic modes of e-commerce available also we have learned the advantages of e-commerce Now let us see the e-commerce payment system An e-commerce payment system accepts electronic payment for online transaction This is also known as electronic data interchange EDI. These online payment systems are used with online shopping and banking. There are different types of payment system like traditional credit, debit and charge card. New technologies such as digital wallets, e-cash, mobile payment and e-checks are also getting popular with people. Another form of payment system used allows third party co companies like PayPal to complete the online transaction for you these companies are called payment service providers that is PSP over the year credit cards have become one of the most common forms of payment for e-commerce transaction but increased security measures such as the use of the card verification value are required to detect any card of any kind of fraud so what is the um, card verification value at the back of the credit card or the debit card you will see a three letters is there a three number is there okay three number is there oh that is a cvv number so sometime when we are doing when we are doing a payment with a credit card there is an option that enter the cvv number why it is been taken to increase the security measures because there is a high chance of fraud right now there are different uh modes are available like mobile payment is there e check is there credit card debit card then digital wallet is there bhim app upi app okay paypal app then different third third party companies like the paypal is also helping to complete the transaction so now let us learn how a credit card works suppose a customer uses a credit card to pay for a bill in a restaurant When a credit card is used, how the sequence work? Let us see. The customer goes to a restaurant and orders a meal. The bill is generated after the customer has his or her meal. The customer gives his credit card, and now the card is put in inside a machine. Now, what the computer does behind the scene when this card is put inside the machine? Card is checked to see if the card's expiry date is exceeded or the card is reported stolen. That means the expiry date. they are checking it if it is expired then there will be the card will be not uh, of use and it is also to check that the if the card is reported stolen or not then what is happening after going through it the amount of bill and pin is entered using the keypad on the machine and then when this is when this task is done on that machine what the computer is doing behind this uh, scene pin is read from the chip on the card and is compared to the one just keyed in that means a pin is there in the chip on the card okay it is already present on the chip on the card and now when i am entering the pin it is also checking the pin that is there on the chip on the card so whether both the pin is correct or not if they are same then the transaction can proceed contact is made between restaurant bank and customers bank and the customer account is accessed to see if he or she has sufficient fund the card is retained transaction is authorized that means when the customer account is accessed and if the sufficient fund is there the fund is being deducted deducted from there and after being deducting after making the payment the payment is completed the card the card is written now and the transaction is authorized a receipt is produced as a proof of payment the price of metal is deducted from the customer's account the price of meal is deducted from the customer's account and the same amount is then added to the restaurant bank account so the price of the meal whatever the customer uh, have taken as a meal as a lunch or a dinner whatever the price have been generated that price is deducted from the customer account and then it is transferred to the restaurant bank account so this is the way how the credit card system work a smart card is similar to a credit card that can transfer electronic cash to your card from your bank account and you can then use your card at various re retailers and on the internet 
a popular smart card initiative is the visa visa smart card see what is a digital wallet e wallet allows user to make electronic commerce transaction quickly and securely digital wallets are small electronic package that automatically supply information such as credit card numbers and shipping address for use in the e-commerce transaction ajay vanga is the president and ceo of mastercard one of the leading financial services company in the world now let us see e-commerce website and ethics e-commerce website are the special website with some extra security features trust is one of the key factor for this website buying product through internet is very easy and simple but you must not do it alone or without the permission of your parents or elders there are numerous fraud companies which sell the product and services they may steal your credit card codes and pin and you may run up with huge bills of credit card while you might have purchased product for a few hundred rupees only so you have to be very much alert okay so whenever you are going there are different websites uh, different pages are there different websites are there you can by mistakenly click over there and there will be a huge loss so you have to be very alert and have you have to check that yes whether you are doing correctly or not so you must be very careful while buying product online some of the popular e-commerce website are amazon flipkart ebay india times bookseller online fafmart so these are the popular e-commerce website you can go over there and you can do the uh, marketing now how to do online shopping online shopping means buying product using internet you need an authorized e-commerce website and a debit and credit card for this purpose how will you do open any e-commerce website for example flipkart.com and click login If you do not have an account created, enter your details, email, mobile number, password and click login button. Enter the product name in the search box and click the search button. A list appears displaying all the available product. Click on the product you are interested in and view the details of the product. Click the buy now product. Uh, click the buy now button and a new screen appears. What will happen? Enter the delivery address and click save and continue button. a new screen appears and then step number 7 check your order summary and email id to get order confirmation email click continue a new screen appears and then last select the payment method for example credit card and enter your card detail and step 9 click save and pay button so after that your payment will be completed and whatever you have bought it will be processed Flipkart is founded by Sachin Bansal and Bini Bansal in 2007. The company's headquarter is in Bengaluru, Karnataka, India. So student this is the end of the video. Go through it. You can now easily go through the, this Flipkart option and you can buy it even you are doing it. You can go through it and you can read this all the steps. So this is the end of the video. Thank you. Namaskar.